November, throughout Europe, all military experts agree that the European nation which controls Africa controls the southern approaches to Europe. Yes, Your Excellency. Now, what about Africa? Any reports? From Tambosa. Our agents there are still working to gain the allegiance of the Middle Jungle tribes. How successfully? Until now, very successfully. But they are worried about a rumor concerning a mysterious queen of the jungle. Tongara now. Does that mean the ceremony's begun? Not yet, Buana Lang. When the gong stout Tonga comes. Tonga's a friend of England. Is he also a friend of that mysterious girl you've been telling me about? The Tongili talk about the mystery queen of the jungle, but no one has ever seen her. Well, regardless of her, Marty, you want to rule the people of the middle jungle, don't you? I want to take Tonga's place. Well, that's why I'm here. To help you get it. <laughs> Why do the chiefs of all the tribes stand before me? Tonga, judge of all Tongili, guardian of the sacred sword of Tongu. This prisoner is of the Bondo tribe. He murdered a warrior of the Lodo. The chiefs of the two tribes do not agree as to his punishment. Bring the prisoner before me. Tongu, that's why I killed my enemy. I asked for mercy. Tongu, founder of all our tribes, enforce the laws with this sword. The laws of Tongu will be obeyed. Take the test. Even the innocent hesitate, yet they, they alone, pass safely through the flames. Ah! Only the guilty perish. Hunger! Our judges have lived, ruled, and died throughout the many centuries. Yet no man before now has raised hand against them. The mystery queen of the jungle. Why does she come? I come to help you. Enemies have crept secretly into your middle jungle. Unknown enemies. They come from across the wide waters. They planned this murder. I am called Lozelle. I am now your judge. You are my hunters. Bring me the murderer. Hello, Dr. Bork. Hello. 
<laughs> the Commissioner hoped you wouldn't stay in the middle jungle. Hello, Lang. Rogers. When did you return? My safari reached Mboza last night. As usual, thanks, Mr. Lang. I suppose you've heard of the murder of Tonga. Yes, the jungle drums told us. The Commissioner wants very much to see you. If you don't mind, Dr. Bork, I won't wait. Of course, Mr. Lang. Hello, Dr. Bork. Hello, Mr. Chairman. I'm very glad to see you. Thank you. You don't happen to know whether Courtney is bringing his safari in, do you? Alan Courtney? Is he in the middle jungle? Oh, yes. He took a safari out the week after you left. Uh, well, sit down, please. Thank you. Courtney is even a better friend of the Tongili than I am. But if I were in his place, I would not trust the natives now. Unfortunately, that's up to Courtney. Did you hear anything in the jungle about Tonga's assassination? A strange story about a mysterious woman. According to the natives, she appeared walking through fire just after the murder. <laughs> you know, that's one of the most interesting things about Africa. You never know where the truth ends and imagination begins. What did she do? She warned the Tongila against foreigners who come into the middle jungle. Oh, I see. That, that is serious. Know anything else about her? Only her name, Lothel. Lothel? Is that Tongili? Yes, it means white butterfly. He's badly wounded, sir. I, I come, Wana, from the Tongili. We need help. I find Tonga killer Lothel. Oh. Someone certainly didn't want him to reach us. He's dead. How he got here is a miracle. He must have been wounded two or three days ago. What did he mean, Lothel? I'm afraid that Lothel is a name we will not forget very soon. I'm afraid so too, Doctor. And now, if you'll excuse me. Of course, Mr. Chatterman, I understand. Thank you. I knew you would. Goodbye. Why dismiss Dr. Bork, sir? She knows more about these natives than anyone except Alan Courtney. Dr. Bork isn't English, Rogers. I wish Courtney were here. Rogers, look there. That man has a message for us. Thank you. Thank you. Not, that Not here, Pam. You'll only call me Mr. X. If you please, my dear. Any word from your Uncle Alan recently? No, he, he never writes when he's in the middle jungle. I thought perhaps he might have come out since I last heard. You've been there with him, have you not? Why, why yes, of course, of four safaris. But you knew about that before. Well, the question's just for the record, my dear. Did you read the report I sent you about the trouble in the middle jungle? Yes, I did. But I still can't understand why the judge of the tribes was murdered. We think we know. But we have to be sure. That's why we want your uncle to investigate. I'm afraid that Tongili would resent interference in native affairs. The native mentioned in the report, the one who died in our commissioner's office at Tambosa, had this clutched in his hand. I don't think the Tongili were custom-made American clothes, do you? No. If it were a German... Labels don't always mean what they say, my dear. Not when another world war is sure to come at any moment. Warmongering Nazis never take human rights into consideration. The control of certain localities may spell the difference between victory and defeat. Almost every foreign office in the world will agree that the nation which controls Africa controls all the southern approaches to Europe. In other words, if the Nazis control the Tongili, it will help them to control Africa. Yes. 
That's why I hope you'll take my request to your uncle. You're the one person in the world that can go to him openly without creating suspicion. Nine seven six D two eight. Right out. We have our confirmation, sir. Good. We instructed the United States about the Taylor's label. That was Washington acknowledging unofficial interest. Repair any more cheap motors anyway. Uh, if I needed a mechanic, this is the last place in town I'd come to. Oh, yeah? Well, back that pile of junk right out of here. Back it out. <laughs> How are you, old greaseball? Fine, Bob. You know, you still got the worst case of pornitis I've ever heard. Well, rev it up. Maybe I can find a couple other cylinders for you. Oh, this engine doesn't need any more cylinders. I came here to talk business to you. Uh oh, serious, huh? What's up? Well, uh, I thought that maybe if you could get away from this place... Hold it. Hold it. Just a minute. Oh, boy. I knew it. I knew it. You're planning another hunting trip. That's right. Doggone, this astrology stuff never fails. You know, the chart said I was going to take a trip sometime between the 10th and the 15th. How do you like that? Still trying to find out today what's going to happen tomorrow, huh? Yeah. Oh, I know. I used to be superstitious about it. But now I'm scientific. Well, I, I guess the old joint will be able to run itself for a couple of months. Where are we going? Well, a friend of mine in Washington was telling me about a place called Tambosa. Tambosa? Do you fry it, boil it, or bake it? <laughs> no, it's a river town down in Africa, on the edge of the middle jungle. And because of my curiosity, we may be walking into something. Huh? I mean, there's a chance we might not come back. Oh, you don't say so. Hmm. Africa, huh? Okay, it's a deal. What are we hunting for? Well, we won't know that until we meet an Englishman by the name of Alan Courtney in Tambosa. The Tambosa Report, Your Excellency. More about the so-called mystery queen of the jungle? No, but Pamela Courtney is now en route to our uncle, Alan Courtney. So England has finally decided to investigate our activities. Anything else? A New York tailor's label ripped from the coat of one of our agents was found in the jungle. Better New York than Berlin. What is Washington going to do about it? Nothing. Where's Miss Courtney now? She will take the night plane for Tambosa. Our men at Lombu have received orders. Excellent. Next stop, Tambosa. Bravo, here we come. Look, Chuck. If we can help the English, that's okay. If they don't want us, we'll just hunt lions. Well, here's hoping the English can use some volunteer Americans, because I'd rather hunt Nazis. That's why I'm following up my friend's story. <laughs> you don't have to worry, Kranz. Those motors sound perfect to me, your hunt. I'm called Jack around here. One of those motors won't sound so good a little later. You won't see it happen. I don't want to see it happen. All I want to know is, are you sure it will happen? The weather report's not good either. Fine. Predicted. Soupy, what? Bed down our passengers. Mm, that's one thing about this run I don't like. Commercial passengers and freight really don't mix, you know. Fasten your safety belts, please. Fasten your safety belts, please. Okay, thanks. I guess the weather isn't exactly what the pilot ordered. The weather's never good here. I've flown this route before. You're very interesting. Uh, I mean, that's very interesting. 
You live in these parts? No, I, I've been on safaris out of Tambosa with my uncle. Do you hunt? Uh, never in Africa before. Why? I was wondering if you'd ever heard of my uncle, Alan Courtney. Oh, I've read his books. I'm going to hunt in the middle jungle. I'm Bob Elliott. This is my friend Chuck Kelly. Well, welcome to Africa, Mr. Elliott and Mr. Kelly. I'm Pam McCourtney. Well, I hope you're flying to your uncle, Miss Courtney. I especially want to meet him. I shall join his safari. He's already in the middle jungle. Uh, American? Oh, yes, I am. I'm from New York. But uh, my friend here, he's from Brooklyn. Oh? The United States, Miss Courtney, is the other half of Brooklyn. <laughs> I've got the Tambosa signal. Too much competition. I know, and it doesn't help us to check out air course. How far are we from Tambosa? About two hours out. We're over the middle jungle now. Did you say middle jungle? Mm-hmm. What star's out of line now, Chuck? Stars are never out of line. But according to my astrology chart, we are plenty. That air screw counts out. Nothing will help us except luck and prayers. Drop another. This is one time in my life I'd rather be walking. On or off course won't matter now. Find consolation for a forced landing in the middle jungle. Lift six, Skipper. I say, look there. Beyond that hill, it's flat and open. I'm ahead of you, old man. We get over this ridge, we may live long enough to be clawed by a lion. I never thought we had a chance. Neither did I. You know, Chuck, that wasn't included in your book. Brakes don't hold. We can't have everything out of our way. 